Hello everybody, it's Christine and it's time for Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And here is my pen today. I don't know who it's from. I saved the image. Sorry about that. I may try to find <laughs> I'm terrible about links. If you really, really want to know, let me know. Um, it is on my board. If you go looking at my scrapbook layouts I like or whatever, it's on my board. Um, it's got some torn papers up here. It actually has mixed media behind and then some little crystals. She's used a cut file and then there's some labels and stuff here with a single photo wordy bits and the titles up here now what i have is a picture of my new house you guys look at that got these cute dormers i think this is my craft room if i'm not mistaken this is my craft room and then this is the garage and we got this pretty tree and all the things this is just kind of neat so it's our new house and what i have pulled out is march 2024's hip kit and i pulled it out it's actually like a little spring kit technically there's a paper in here with like rabbits but that's not what i'm doing I love it because of the clouds, because I've got my clouds in the picture here. I like the clouds. I like the flowers. I thought this might be neat. Um, it's gonna be a slight deviation, obviously, from what she's got going on here, but I thought this could be fun as the base. I may trim this so I don't waste this little piece here, because um, my idea is I'm gonna tear these. I have this yellow. I'm gonna have to get in here because there's like one, two, three, four patterns there, so I may have to see about that. But I have these options, right? There's tags too, but I don't need that. There's also this really bright blue that kind of is like hers. So I may come in here. I may come in here with that. I don't know because I like the flowers. So maybe I'll keep these four pieces here together and put these to the side. And then I have, I'm thinking on my title. So this came with some really big titles. Now that's not a real giant title, but I kind of like this dreams do come true. I don't know. I kind of like that. So depending on how big that is, the dreams is kind of large, but we'll see. We shall see. That sounds kind of fun. So I may do that. And then of course there's little like butterfly rub ons and things. This has mixed media on it. I don't know that I'll do that, but you guys, guess what? As I've been packing, which if you uh, go to my Instagram and watch my stories and stuff, you'll see a little video of my room being packed, but I found my rolly cart that I had actually stuck all my sequins and stuff in. I had forgotten I did that. So I have found my sequins. <laughs> I'm crazy y'all. Anyways, that's my starting point. Let me trim my photo and I'll come back on here in just a minute once I figure out my tears and stuff like that. I may have to get, what I may do is use this as a base so that I can cut this off and then lay my tears and stuff on it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, let me get busy and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have cut that little flower piece off the top there so I don't waste it. And I'm just gonna start tearing, you guys. I just, um, just going for it, because <laughs> why not? And then I started to lay it the wrong way. Look at that. Do you see where the flowers are? That ain't right. Whoops, let me flip that around. There we go. So I'm gonna do the clouds first and then I actually decide to do the blue, kind of the vibrant blue here. And then I'm gonna do the flowers, and then I'll think to myself, you need another little layer, Christine. And the back side of the flowers is a pretty little like tone on tone peach color. And so that's going to be a fourth like layer in my tears there. Um, I will tell you, I fast around with the title. Well, it's gonna take me a minute to find all the letters and stuff after I do all this, but I fast around with this title for quite some time because the letters are actually much bigger than I expected. And I was like, oh, wow, uh, that's going mostly across my page. And I really didn't intend for it to go all the way across my page. So you'll see in a minute my solution. I will tell you, this does not, I don't know that this looks exactly like the pen. I mean, I, it doesn't have to ever look exactly right, but um, I think I deviated <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, her design was a little more central. You know, there was uh, a little more in the middle of the page and I have kind of gone all over. So you'll, but you'll, you'll, again, you'll see that in just a minute. Um, so I'm gonna do my layers and stuff. And then I think I fast run my title in just a minute. So I'll tell you guys, I've talked about me moving and all that kind of stuff and properties and this and that. So this is the one we ended up finding. And I do believe this was a God thing because this house was not on the market when we first put our house in the market. So the first property we ever looked at was one we kind of fell in love with. And if I'm honest, it has a very similar style to this one. It had the dormers and it had like a separate garage. I mean, it looked really similar from an exterior standpoint. But that, and that is the one we kind of fell in love with and was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and go for it. Let's try, let's see what happens. Um, and then 
uh, we found another one that I actually then fell in love with, which was multiple buildings that had party barn. I, I just had all this vision about all the cool stuff we could do. That being said, it was a lot of work. And I think in some ways it would have probably been too much for us because my husband and I do still work full-time jobs and the kids own, a, you know, they own their own business. So it would have been very difficult for us to get it all, you know, everything done the way we wanted and all that kind of stuff. So I think we would have been up for the challenge on the one hand. On the other hand, I think God knows better than we do. And so that did not happen either. And so we end up with this one. And the funny part, and I think I mentioned this on a recent video, is we bought this home without ever seeing it in person. <laughs> We saw the pictures. Um, we sent the kids over to do FaceTime and walked around and toured the property with the agent and, you know, kind of got up close and looked at different things. And it was like, you know what, let's go for it. Um, let's go for it. And then they took our first offer, no counter. It was kind of amazing. I mean, it, to me, it was just one of those things that just fell into place perfectly. And then we were able to do a closing date that was two days after our current home sale closing date. So the funding, all that kind of stuff is perfect. Um, the move down there is on my, you guys, this house is going to close. We're moving basically our stuff into this home on my birthday. So what a cool birthday present, right? And, um, it's a dream that's come true that I didn't even know I had, if that makes sense. Like I love the house we're in. I fell in love with this house a few years ago and I think it's beautiful. I still think it's beautiful. And my prayer is the people that come after us love it as much as I do. Um, but that being said, a home your home is where your people are, I think, you know, like the, my daughter's my home, my husband, my daughter, my family, but they're my home. So it's just a building, right? So I, I do love this home, but I'm, I'm more excited. I think now about having this homestead than I ever thought I would be. Um, we have so many dreams. My daughter's so cute. She wants some chickens and she wants an orchard and she wants a garden. Now the really scary part is the child squeals at every bug. <laughs> and there's, a lot of bugs in the country, y'all. <laughs> so we will see. I was on the phone with um, my future son-in-law the other day and she showed up and all you could hear her in the back. All I could imagine was like a Muppet in the background with her arms flailing and squealing and carrying on, oh, a bug, a bug. And he goes, she's not going to make it. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, anyways, so it is a dream I'd have. Uh, it was a dream I didn't know I had and it's coming true. So I'm amazed. Um, so here's my word. Here's what, here's where it is, right? It says dreams. And this, the, these letters are big. <laughs> so I've got my photo. I did mat it. I went ahead and double. Well, the white is actually the photo mat that printed. And then I've got the little peach. I created the second photo mat there. And you see, I layered all those torn papers. And I, like I said, I fussed around with this because I was like, okay, the inspiration piece, um, she was kind of up, I think up on the top paper, but it wasn't really going to work here because I felt like the dreams was going to get too lost. So then I thought I had the brilliant idea of overlapping the letters. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my photo down here and use my ATG and a little bit of wet glue because I have got it on those torn papers and I was a little bit worried it might try to come off if I didn't do some little extra on here. And I put it on foam. You can see that. And so I'm going to set this down and then I'm going to take my dreams. I'm going to kind of organize it. And yeah, basically I'm going to overlap the letters. It's going to be like down and then up and then down and then up. So I'm going to cut away in just a minute, I think, because I don't think I need you guys to sit and watch me glue these letters. I will take just a little bit of foam. Um, I use actually the Stampin' Up. I take it back. It's not technically foam. It's actually the Stampin' Up. Um, oh, shoot. What do they call those little things? The little, uh, they were, well, I don't know if they still are. To be honest, I haven't bought it something else in so long. But they're like little uh, hexagons or whatever. The little foam pieces that Stampin' Up has. They're nice. They're they're thin. They give you a little bit of layering or a little bit of depth without being so fat. And I didn't want to put foam um, I wanted the foam to kind of make the letters be basically the depth of the other letters or so, if that makes any sense. I didn't want it to like really fat or really deep. So, um, I'm going down the lower letters first and then I'll come back in with my foam and, uh, put it kind of in the areas that it's going to be on the paper and then use glue where they overlap the other letters. And I think this is just adorable. I love this title. Um, I love the little flowers all over it. It's, it is, a, it's a, a chipboard, so that's really nice. And it offers just a great deal of dimension and, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to cut away because you don't need to sit there and watch me do that. Now what I've done is I've also got the little, oh, the do come true. Um, I go ahead and bump those all up against each other because they are different colored letters. You can read the words just fine. It doesn't run together. So I'm going to put that into the bottom and it will kind of extend um, on either side of the, the photo. But that's okay. And then you can see I've also pulled out all the ephemera on the right hand side over there. 
and I've kind of organized some on the paper. I have the rainbow in the upper right. I really think that's cute. I think that's great up in the clouds. Right now I have a butterfly in the upper left. It does not stay there. It's going to actually come down. I did find a couple of little labels uh, because the original uh, post had uh, some labels on it. And I have found another little butterfly that's going to go on the right-hand side. I did find a couple of wordy bits that's going to go on the picture. It says, Happy Family Story. And I found another little wordy bit. It's like a phrase. It says, Our Life with No Filter. And then I also really like this little movie thing. It says, Scene from Our Life. So I like that. And I'm going to use a Nouveau Glue to glue most of these down. With the exception of Our Life with No Filter, I'm going to add a foam strip underneath it. And then... Um, the butterfly that I'm going to pull from the top up there and bring down, I'm going to actually put a little bit of foam on the other side of its, on the outside of its wings. And then I actually just kind of bend up the floral piece that I found. You can kind of see it layered on top of the floor on the lower left. I just kind of bend it up a little bit. And then the butterfly on the right hand side, I just kind of bend its wings. I don't put any foam or anything. And um, after I glue all this stuff down, I'm going to actually do some journaling. That was not really on the original either, but I felt like this kind of needed it. I don't actually add any sequins. I was so excited about finding them, and she did have a few little sparkly bits, but um, I felt like I had a lot going on already. I might could still add it if I really wanted to, but I don't think I will. I think I'll stop while I'm ahead. Um, so there I go. I think that's pretty much it here. Oops, nope, I gotta move my, I forgot to glue those pieces down. So here's me, I kind of bend the rainbow just a tad, and then I decide to glue it down so it doesn't come off. And then the other little butterfly, he's gonna go over there, but I will add some foam on the outside of his wings. And I'll tuck him kind of underneath the Viewmaster just a tad. So I'll read you the journal real quick because you won't have time to read it when I do the little slowdown here. But it says June 2024. And I put June because that's our close date. Um, so I guess technically I'm working in the future right now. It says, never did I imagine I would leave my dream home. And I got the dream in that one kind of in air quotes. For a different kind of dream. It never occurred to me we would move so far from our roots and buy a farm. We are so looking forward to our family homestead dream becoming a reality. And there you go. There's the slowdown, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We should have a playlist or at least a list of folks in the hop doing the um, off the board. So make sure you check those out. And uh, Miss Crystal is amazing. She organizes this or sponsors it. And so thank you for that, Crystal. And we will have y'all show up, well, next time. <laughs> Bye.